Hello, this is your friend Dave Fett. Um, coming in for another video. <clears throat> Tonight I'm doing the Kershaw Nura. Um First thoughts, uh when I was originally gonna do this video when I was thinking about it a week ago, I had a lot of negative things to say about this knife. I thought it was terrible, I I don't want to say hate, but I just really wasn't a big fan of this knife. I had a lot of really strong words I really wanted to say about it. And I was originally going to just rip into this knife. But before I did this video, I decided to carry it for a week solid. <coughs> Excuse me. And put it through its paces and develop an opinion um, upon actually carrying it because my original opinions were really on um my initial impressions which weren't very good so this is the Kershaw Nura number 0435 or 4035 sorry this has an 8CR13 MOV blade. We got stainless or stainless scales, no liners. Couple standalones. Nice little custom lanyard hole in there that's pretty cool. Um liner lock. I'm pretty sure you already know all this cuz there's been a million different videos on it. But mine when I originally got it the blade centering was so terrible. It almost touched the frame. Um, and it was rubbing so bad. And originally I couldn't get it to flip at all. I couldn't get it to do it. And it smoothed up a lot. And... Another thing I did for this video was I wanted to be really sterile about it. Um, what I mean by that was is I didn't want anyone else's impressions viewed through this knife. I wanted to give my personal thoughts. So I tried my hardest not to watch any other videos before doing my overview on this knife. Um, which I did watch one video and that was about the blade centering um well not the centering but the the action on it and I forget who it was I was gonna look it up earlier but I forgot but this dude said he found from another dude that you just bend over the slock bar when you take it apart and that helps the the detent so you can actually flip it and you can't really tell now, but the action is a lot better than what it used to be. Um, when I originally wanted this knife about two, two and a half years ago, I saw a post of it on Instagram. And I saw someone get it. I saw them actuate it, open and close it. And I fell in love with it. I fell in love with the aesthetics, the lines, the milling in the frame, the pocket clip. I thought it was just the coolest thing. Um, the blade shape, I loved it. I was just so in awe. And I was just like, I have to have one. And that's the other reason I probably kept this was... Um, this one has a lot of personal, uh, value to me too, because my girlfriend of eight years bought me this knife out of the blue. Like she knew I wanted one, one Christmas, she got it for me. Most amazing thing ever. I was so stoked until I got it out of the box. <laughs> Cause like I said, when I got it out of the box, the blade centering was horrible. The action was terrible. And I was just... 
so disappointed because I said, had such high hopes for this knife. And since then, there was other things that kind of irked me too, but now I kind of see why they did it that way. Like originally, if you see right here, the milling isn't the greatest. There's right from about here to here, there's a big bow in there. And it's supposed to be cut with these lines to make it uniform to keep with the design. And that just bugs me. That that bow there just hurt, just because how nice all the rest of the lines are and how nice the milling is. That that just <laughs> it ah uh, and then. It just seems a little unfinished too. Like these edges here are really sharp um, on all this stuff where you could reach in like where the lock bar goes in. Really bad bevel. And this gap here used to, I didn't like how big that gap was. But then when I looked at how the knife was designed, only from about here to the end of there is really touching the blade stock. Which I think is cool. Um, I don't know why, like, even though it's not a full thing, I thought that was alright. And then, it isn't skeletonized, but there's some little cutouts in there that actually make this a really manageable knife to carry with the, with the stainless inserts. Um, again, I still don't have a scale that's coming eventually. Um, this is a Sinkovich design, 4035 Nura. The KVT is for the KVT bearing system. And that's why I had such high hopes for this knife, was the bearing system. And aside from bending the lock bar, the other thing I did to help this knife out was the last time I took it apart to clean it. Because every two, I try and do a lot of maintenance to my knives, keep them in the best working condition, sharpening them, cleaning them, taking them apart, all that stuff. Um, This one, when I took it apart and got all the gunk and shit out of it, uh, I found out on this side there was two washers rather than one because the the bearings kind of sit on these little washer plates on the inside of both sides and then actually touch the inside of the frame. Um, probably can't. So that gold right there is the KVT bearing and one side just sits on the frame. These guys kind of sit in a little rocker. On this side there were two thick not like two, but there was like two of them, like more than one. <laughs> and when I took one of those washers out, I didn't have to torque this thing down so tight it barely moved. It almost, the centering almost fixed itself once I took that one side out. And oh my God, did that help. That helped so much with the action on this knife. Um, So much more smoother. And that fixed one of my biggest problems on this knife, which was the centering and how tight I had to keep the pivots. Um, the other thing is one of these, you can see a little gap, so the fit and finish isn't the best, but with the changes I did to the knife, I almost fell in love with this thing. And the other thing too is, is for an ATR-13 MOV, um, I usually try and make it a deal to try and clean my knives before uh, an overlook, even though I've only done two videos. But I wanted to really show that this is now a work knife. Like, I, I actually carry this thing and actually used it. And I cut a decent amount of boxes with this thing, opened a decent amount of packages, uh open bottles with it he uses a bottle opener and just gave this thing just random tests put it through its paces and I haven't had to touch up the edge yet which is insane especially for an ATR 13 MOV like a lot of the blades I have in this steel after about three days of box cutting it's done <laughs> time for not a reprofile, but I have to I have to put this thing on the whetstone for at least five minutes. Um this one I haven't had to touch up yet. 
It probably needs it, but it still has a workable edge. Like, this guy still gets two boxes like butter. Um, and so now I am just so impressed with this knife now. Enough to where I put a custom lanyard on it so I could actually use it with the deep carry pocket and actually have a use for this thing and actually show some, some pride in this knife and to show that it has the potential that I knew it had and it's actually starting to meet it. Look at it. I mean, isn't that beautiful? For like a $35 knife. Can you really beat that? I mean, all the way down to these these pivot screws. Oh yeah, and that's the other thing too. These ones are kind of gnarred up and they came like that and they're kind of cut. So like you see these have like these cool little proprietary looking guys and then this side's almost kind of smooth. But anyway, fit and finish deal, but I really can't say anything for the price of the knife, but with the little changes I did, oiling the pivot, not the bearings, but oiling the pivot, cleaning up the, the blade stock, which I haven't done in forever before I carried this thing again for the last week, and so smooth now so buttery so fast and now but it's hard because I, I I don't want to be like oh man go out and get yourself a Nura they're amazing because once it's calibrated correctly and once you get some minor fixes done then it is an amazing knife it's a really good knife I love this thing now now that I've carried it, now that I've tweaked it and fixed it, but I was just like, can I really, like I said, I don't know if this is a one-off, and if it's just like, this one was that bad, out of the box, but I really don't want to send you out and be like, hey, go get this knife right now, it's fucking amazing, I love it, but then have you have to do like, 15 minutes of work, out of the box. You know what I mean? Like, I did it because, like I said, I saw a lot of potential in this knife. And I saw what it could be. And it's not quite there yet, but things I can not fix, like this edge here, this Narda pivot here. But for what you pay, if you got things that I didn't have to fix, like a good detent, a centered blade... This thing is out of the ballpark for 30 bucks. It's so amazing, so good. So, get one if you want. I want to recommend it, but like I said, I'm having a hard time doing that, especially with the one I got and how much time I had to put into it. But honestly, now that I've worked out the kinks that didn't work for me, this is now an amazing knife, and I absolutely love it. And I don't know, it's going to be hard to pick a knife for the next week because it's going to be hard to carry another knife for a week because I now love this knife. Anyway, I hope you have an amazing day, um, an amazing evening. And a great week. Enjoy your weekend. This is Dave Bofet signing off.